Hey everybody, this is Jennifer. I'm coming to you with another sales update video. The first item I have is a vintage Pendleton women's cardigan sweater. Um, it was made of wool and it's extra large. And there's the label. I picked this up for a dollar at the Salvation Army and it sold for $30. All right, the next item I have is a Christmas cardigan sweater for women. Um, it's a size 1X, which is a nice big size. Um, anytime there's, I see anything that's Christmas in sweater, cardigan, anything like that, I pick it up, especially now it's going to go for pretty decent money. Um, I would put ugly in the title, no matter if it's the most beautiful Christmas sweater you've ever seen, I put ugly in the title because that's how people search for it a lot of the time. So you don't want to miss out on that keyword and I picked up for a dollar and it sold for $30. Okay, the next item I have is a pair of Carhartt lined jeans. I always pick lined jeans up. Um, they usually sell pretty well. I did take a best offer on these for $21.87, but I only paid a dollar for them, so that was okay. Okay, this is a Lands End uh, button-up shirt for women. Um, this normally isn't the best seller, but it was only a dollar and it was really clean, so I did pick it up. And with shipping, I took a best offer and I got a total of $16.99. Okay, this is a pair of women's uh, Talbot pants. Nothing special about them. I picked them up for a dollar at the Salvation Army and I took a best offer of $20. And this is a pair of Ralph Lauren uh, women's pants. Uh, the Ralph Lauren, it usually takes a while for me to sell the pants, but you know, you know, it's not high end. It's the Lauren Ralph Lauren. So if you pick up the pants, it usually takes a little while for them to go. Eventually they do. But these I sold for $20 and I only paid a dollar at the Salvation Army. This is a J. Crew uh, sweater. Uh, I picked it up for a dollar at the Salvation Army and I took a best offer of 18 you know, you're just seeing that like the Salvation doesn't have the dollar sale anymore, but most of this video is dollar items from the Salvation Army because these are a lot of this is all sweaters and stuff that I picked up earlier that weren't selling and they're starting to sell now. So, you know, keep it in mind, like I, I don't go seasonal when I go shopping. I don't say, well, sweaters aren't selling right now. If I see anything that's decent, I just put it on. If it doesn't sell right away and sometimes it does. It will when you get into the season. So, you know, I really, I do not put things on according to season. Okay, this is a pair of women's apartment nine pants. And the only reason I picked these up is because it had the tags on it. Um, apartment nine usually doesn't sell very well. Um, I picked these up for a dollar at the Salvation Army and they sold for $17.99. And this is a pair of Chico's. Uh, they're just a regular pair of khaki pants and I paid a dollar for them and I took a best offer of 15. And this is a Fear of God CD. I picked this up for a dollar at the Goodwill and it sold for $11.99. Okay, this is kind of interesting. It's a pair of Doc Martens. I picked this up at the Goodwill <laughs> well over a year ago and it did not sell because I just started selling shoes and I didn't think I was like, oh, you know, it didn't come with shoelaces. And I'm like, oh, that's OK. <laughs> I'll just put it on without the shoelaces. Don't do that. That's why it didn't sell for a year. But, you know, I took all the pictures, had it on. And every time I went to relist it, I'm like, oh, I really should just redo the auction. And I never did. So it took well over a year to sell, but I only paid five dollars for it. And eventually it did sell for forty dollars. But if you do not have shoelaces, spend the one or two dollars and pick them up and put them in your shoes so you can sell your item and not sit on them for a year like I did. <laughs> All right, the next item is a J. Jill. Um, it's a dress with a matching cardigan. Uh, I picked this up for three dollars at the Goodwill and it sold for thirty dollars. Okay, this is a pair of JM collection I never heard of them before, but they were new at tags. So I picked them up for a dollar at the Salvation Army and they sold on a best offer of $16.99. Okay, 
Okay, this was pretty. Um, this was a Angora rabbit hair blend sweater from the Limited. And it was really, it was super soft. It was so nice. And I took a best offer of $29.74 and I only paid a dollar for it at the Salvation Army. And this is a Cambridge cardigan sweater. You know, I wasn't quite sure if this would be considered Christmas. So I didn't put that ugly Christmas sweater on there, but you know, it's still sold for $30 and I only paid a dollar for this at the Salvation Army. So if you see this, I know I've sold a couple of these Cambridge cardigans. So if you see the cardigans, it has a type of, I don't know what that's called, hook on the front. I sold a couple that looked pretty similar to this. This sells pretty well. Okay, this is a women's old navy double-breasted peacoat. Um, I only paid a dollar for it at the Salvation Army, and I took a best offer of twenty-five dollars and forty-nine cents. And this is a pair of Talbot's pants. Um, nothing special. It was a dollar at the Salvation Army, and I took a best offer of seventeen ninety-nine. And this is a Woolridge uh, cardigan sweater. I see these all the time. Usually it has a quarter zip on it. There's the tag. These are all over the place. So they're either red or green most of the time. They do not sell very well. Um, usually you sit on them for a while, but this only cost a dollar and I took a best offer of $14. Now this was at Goodwill. This was on their 49 cent day. Um, this was a Cold Water Creek blazer jacket. I wasn't sure what to call it. You can kind of tell it's a little different. And it had this big, these big uh, disc-like Mayan calendar buttons on there. It was really a little weird. And I think that's why it was still there. But I figured someone would really, really like it. And so I paid 50 cents for it. And I did get the full price of $35. So I was really pretty happy about that. Okay, the last item. This was fantastic. This was a pair of Keen um, work shoes. They have the composite toe. And this was a size, I don't know if you can hear that. My cat is crying, so I'm going to try to talk over them. Um, it was a size 15. It was absolutely huge. So I picked them up for only $6 at the Goodwill and they sold for $101.99. So that was really awesome. If you see these shoes, pick them up. They're very expensive. Okay, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.